Namaste, Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. Hi, my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens. Hope you guys are well and safe. I love you guys. So, I picked up on the energy that somebody's rushing. Like, this, this reading could be a continuation from yesterday's, and it doesn't have to be, but it could be, okay? Because ancestors choose what messages to give. And if they have some more messages to give to you guys from that uh, video reading from yesterday, then they will come through. But the first thing that I heard is that somebody that passed away is trying to come to your dreams to give you a message. Okay? That's confirmation. Somebody just beeped the horn outside. Confirmation. Somebody that passed away is trying to come up in your dreams. They're trying to give you a message. Okay? So... This person's having a hard time getting through to you or giving you a message because there could be some sort of crown chakra blockage. Somebody uh, could be doing crown chakra magic on you guys or just sending you a lot of distorted energies and different emotions and feelings that you might be um, subconsciously blocking out certain dreams, blocking out certain messages or not remembering your dreams. Okay, because one of your ancestors, somebody that passed away, is trying to come through and give you a message. I heard Braden or Aiden. I heard Wellington. I heard Wells. Okay, those were the names that I just heard. I'm a, if I hear any other names in this video, you guys know I'm going to tell you. I heard Gordon, something about Gordon. I heard Grace or Gracie, Gretchen, Lionel. Lindsay, Lena, I heard Lena or Serena. What's the message, Spirit? Okay, so also I got an intuitive message that somebody's rushing towards you to confess something to you guys. So you can expect communication from somebody that's under judgment. All right? Somebody that feels like everything they did to you, everything they did to other people, everything they were a part of, every single thing is coming back to haunt them. They feel like the angels are calling judgment on them. Okay? And this, this involves several people. This involves more than one person that's under judgment, but there's one individual, you know, that is going through the most, going through some sort of like out-of-body experiences or going through some sort of dark night of their soul. Somebody that's like feeling so heavy and guilty and, and, and like afraid. This person's in fear because of what these people were orchestrating in your life. And this person took a part of it. Okay, because they were uh, basically, this person was manipulated to take part in this. This person's back was against the wall. This person could have been going through something and they needed money. And this person was going through the most. And this person was take they, they were taken advantage of by these other people that were working against you. This could be family members, this could be community people in your workplace, whatever. Somebody was taken advantage of or manipulated because they needed some sort of money, they needed help, they needed finances. And this group of people took advantage of that person's weakness in order to turn this person against you, to attack you, to work against you. This person is so in fear right now because they know, actually, this person knows that all your intuitive gifts are real. This person knows that... Um, that when you cry or when you're upset, things happen in the spirit realm. People start receiving karma. This person actually witnessed that before. This person actually knows how spiritually protected you are because you're a good person. You have a good heart. And God does favor you. Mm. But they kept something hidden for way too long. And this person's ready to come forward. This person kept this hidden for way too long about how they were manipulated to work up against you. That this person wants to tell you. They've been juggling this back and forth for a while. Or they were juggling your energy. They came into your life to uh, basically put you in a dark timeline. Hurt you. Trick you. Manipulate you. This was their assignment. That's what I heard. 
This was their assignment to juggle your energy. So when you release this person, when you stop worrying about what this person is up to, or when you stop reliving the past, what this person did to you, and giving this person your power, then it's over for them. They already know this. If you're not reliving the past, if you're healing and moving forward, then it's over for them. They have no power over you. They can't manipulate you. They can't uh, juggle your energy. They can't put you in the two of swords. Mm. I have a poem for you guys as well, and I'm going to read it in a second. It's called Passion. Because you guys are finding your passion. Finding what it, what it what really makes you happy. Like... What what is your deepest desires? What do you see yourself doing? All right, as a purpose, you know what can you do in order to uh, improve the life of others and of the and and your own life? What can you do to improve your life and help others improve improve their life? Like how can you be a motivation to others? You know how can you stand out from these other people? How can you change and see something in a different perspective, and not? Really take it so seriously. Don't let it weigh you down when somebody rejects you. Don't let it weigh you down when somebody doesn't understand you. Don't let it weigh you down when they neglect you. Don't let it weigh you down when they do things to try to trick you because that is who they are. And that's their trauma. That's their fear. That means they haven't healed. That means they're still reliving the past and they're just projecting it onto other people. All right? Don't let that bother you so much, but you do have to separate and isolate yourself from these thoughts, from reliving the past from certain fears, from letting certain people back in, all right? It's time for you to, to put all that to rest and get some sleep. Somebody here, I said put it to rest, and then I said get some sleep. Somebody here could be even losing sleep over whatever they did and what part they played, and they can't even sleep right now. Maybe you're losing sleep because you're picking up on this person's energy. Queen of Pentacles. All right, you can have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your chart. You could be the Queen of Pentacles, and um, you're 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 very connected to the divine angels and um, ascended masters. You're connected to animals. You're connected to the elements. You are very abundant energy. All right, or there could be a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that could be going through something in the justice system. All right, or that could be going through something spiritually because this person, there's somebody here that could have tried to put you and, and, and trap you in fear, orchestrate some sort of tower moment in your life, incriminate you, make false statements about you. Yeah, and you block this person's communication or you need to block this person. This could be a queen of pentacles, male or female. This could be a uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female you're dealing with. This could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that wants to confess something to you guys about what they did with this. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, male or female in your life? Mm. So, yeah, the uh, page of cups in the reverse. Somebody is man uh, emotionally manipulative or they're emotionally immature. So this person is emotionally immature, you know, so they don't understand the things that you need in order for you to be confident, in order for you to trust them, in order for you to feel like you're valued in a connection. This person doesn't know how to uh, give love because this person is very immature emotionally. So this person doesn't uh, can't reciprocate to you what you want or need. Basically, this person can't give you what you want or need. So you need to like uh, stop giving them your energy or somebody's coming in, but they can't give you what you need. This person is immature. This person is it, 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 not on your level. When it comes to romance and love and what you expect from another person, this person never had that, so they don't know how to give that to you. Because, first of all, this person needs to go heal and love themselves, okay? Because this person is, like, very, like, I don't know. This person is very, like, 3D-oriented, okay? So this person lives for appearances. This person likes to impress other people. They like to... uh for people to hold them in high honor. They like to worry about what other people think about them instead of worrying about who they really are, okay? That's that's who this person is, all right? But you're the queen of swords, all right? You're not, you're not playing these little mind games. You're not playing these games with people back and forth. You're cutting them off at the door. You're letting them know that you're not the one, that you are spiritually gifted, intuitive, and you can read them. Mm, somebody knows you can read them. That's why they're not coming to. They're afraid to come towards you, but they know they have to in order for them, all right, to stop having all these tower moments. Mm. So the devil's in reverse. Yeah, Capricorn energy. You get Capricorn in your chart. You can be dealing with one. You release this energy. You know, you release these fears. Or you release this person that was trying to bind themselves to your 
to your chakras in order to uh, receive abundance. All right. Yeah. The Queen of Cups is here. Compassion. I heard Jamie. Vanessa. Valerie. Victoria or Vicky. Veronica. Ronnie. Queen of Cups. I heard Mary or Maria. Compassion. All right. They see you as very loving and compassionate. Okay. The Queen of Cups energy. But at the same time, you have this Queen of Swords energy too. Like you can be loving. You can be good. You can be compassionate. You're a healer. You're, you're very empathic. But at the same time, you can stand your ground and you can become this Queen of Swords. And you could block this person and they know this. Or you have, to, you have to stand your ground and block somebody. Because they were hiding things. This person's hiding things. Somebody's coming with some sort of false narrative, all right? But they're hiding something. They just they just want to confuse you to who they really are and what they really were what they were really doing in the part they played in this major betrayal. I'm gonna read the poem at the end. What is the message, spirit? Yeah, somebody's not celebrating anymore. They know you're irreplaceable. They're not having fun. They're not happy. They jeopardize everything when it comes to you. All right? And they didn't understand you. That's the thing. People have a hard time understanding you. Family members couldn't understand you. Exes couldn't understand you. Friends couldn't understand you. All right? Because you operate of, out of a place of genuine or love. Or you could have been very defensive at times with your feelings and emotions. Because people always misunderstand you. And then they're always quick to say something to hurt your feelings. They don't think about what they're saying before they say it. Because, you know, that's one thing that you have a... That's one of your triggers. The way people talk to you. Talking to you reckless or, like, back and forth. Not being decisive when it comes to you. Not giving you something stable. But now somebody's understanding who you are. They're understanding where you come from. They're understanding why you're the way you are. They understand you now. Okay? Somebody's understanding that you're irreplaceable. And that you were telling the truth about something. To this person un unappreciated and then and then they made you feel unappreciated or this person felt like you didn't appreciate them or something like that but you are very grateful all right or somebody felt made you feel unappreciated okay reflection they're being forced to reflect they're reflecting right now as you know they're reflecting they're reflecting on how they did everything in their power to destroy you or this connection they did everything in their power, all right, to manipulate the energies when they had you in their life or when you were there for them. Yeah. Yeah. They're letting go of the past. They're putting it to rest. They're having to forgive themselves and forgive the things that happened or how somebody's trying to forgive themselves. They're having a hard time for allowing a group of people to manipulate this person in order to work against you, in order to betray you, in order to look at you as the enemy. Wow, somebody's devastated. Yeah, they're very devastated. I can't make it up. This person's overwhelmed. Male or female, they're overwhelmed. This person's reflecting right now. We found out the truth. All right, that somebody only lied about you in order to slow this person down, in order to have them attack you, in order to cause you a tower moment, in order to, for you to feel isolated and alone. And this person could have been your best friend. This person could have been a family member you were close to. This person could have been someone you loved, that you had a relationship with. But they literally turned this person against you. All right? And now this person knows that it's been a lot of, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. I should have left you without a dope beat to step two, step two. If at first you don't succeed, get yourself up and try again. Pick yourself up and try again. So whoever this is, this person knows that you went through something hard and you picked yourself up and you, and you, and you built yourself back up and you gained the strength to, uh, to master yourself. Somebody knows you picked yourself back up when something happened and you didn't succeed or something was blocked because of whatever these people did. And somebody's feeling like it's, it's been a long time. You know, like it's been a long time since I left you with nothing or since I betrayed you. It's been a long time and I haven't apologized. And this person is wondering why they haven't apologized, why they've been stuck in their shadow. They're realizing that the karmic they were dealing with was the one manipulating them the whole time. Or the family members they were dealing with, they were the ones manipulating this person's energy the whole time. 
Mm, this person has doesn't really have hope because this person sees that you're moving towards your destiny. These people see that you're in your destiny. This is your birthright. And they know how dishonest they were. Or somebody's being very dishonest with somebody else because they want to sabotage a connection that's meant to happen for you or that you have or you had. All right, somebody knows about some sort of dishonesty. And even though this person tried to forget about you or they did the most and they act like they didn't care about you, they didn't need you or they treated you like crap, this person still can't let go of you. This person still feels drawn to you. Third party. Yeah, the third party knows or there was a third party here that's going to confess something that they took a part in. Hmm. Okay, my loves. Um, this is what I'm picking up on for you guys' reading. This is not going to be a long reading because my energy is very uh, depleted. I, I've been spiritually attacked in my dreams for two nights in a row now. All right, different things happening in my dream. In one of my dreams, I was trapped in Puerto Rico. I don't know, uh, maybe somebody's in Puerto Rico that you know doing work on you. Or somebody uh, lives in Puerto Rico. Somebody's from Puerto Rico. Mm, because somebody, it, it, it's like in Puerto Rico. I was trapped in this dream in Puerto Rico. And... um. Somebody left me stranded, then they stole my phone, they left me stranded, all these different people were coming towards me, trying to rob me or steal from me, and I was trying to get out of this place in Puerto Rico where I was stranded at, so that could be specific for somebody, and being attacked in your dreams, you need to take spiritual baths, egg cleansings, meditations, I did a lot of meditations this morning, alright, so I'm going to read this poem called Passion, Passion, Dear Lord, help me find my passion. Back when I was playing and laughing like a child's innocence, it fills my heart with compassion. Somewhere along the battle, my sense for life came down crashing. But you put me back together and said, my child, what has happened? I am here as your strength. So stand up and keep fighting. Grab your pen and keep writing. It's a new day full of passion. All of all that you have worked hard for is going to start happening. Wow. Shine your light, my child. You have walked miles. Start enjoying the flowers. God is working in your life with all his power. Amen. Yeah, so get back to what you're passionate about. All right? Get back to what makes you happy. All right? Get back to your child's sense of innocence, like the, the creative energy you had as a child. Maybe some of you guys need to heal your inner child wounds from things you went through as a child in order for you guys to uh, block, unblock this uh, sacral chakra and solar plexus chakra in order for you guys to be more confident, all right, to get back that spark or like to be inspired, to not hold back. Healing your inner child is important for some of you guys. I heard green tea. Somebody could be drinking green tea or somebody could be drinking ginger tea. Somebody else could be drinking ginger ale. So this is your message, guys. I hope this helped. I love you guys so much. Till the next time, my loves. Namaste.